me again. Um, today I'm going to show you something. Well, actually, now, again, I'm going to show you something that I made out of a, uh, a pallet. Now, let me see. Do I have any intact pallets? Uh, I have a few. Some of them have, are, are more complete than others. I'm going to move my uh, furniture around here. Okay. See? This is a perfect pallet. Now, what I did with the pallet that I use for my my uh, piece of art that I hung up on my wall, I call it a piece of art, of course, because I made it, but <laughs> maybe not to you, but you take a pallet and then you go ahead and um, you sand it all down. Make sure you paint it with a primer in order to kill any termites or anything like that. Um, and then, of course, sand it down so that you don't uh, hurt yourself when you're hanging it up or figuring out what to do with it. Uh, then I went ahead and I painted it a bunch of different colors. And what I do is I say, okay, say I paint this yellow, right? The whole thing will be painted yellow. Then what I'll do is I'll throw on a slab of Vaseline on top of it, and then I'll repaint it, say green. Then when I'm done with that, I take off the Vaseline and the paint and the yellow underneath will stay, but whatever was covered with the green, uh, with the Vaseline, well, um, actually, I'm sorry, whatever is painted on top of the Vaseline will not stay. So actually the Vaseline keeps the, the paint from holding on to the board. So then you're left with the under color and then the other color on top of it or vice versa. I don't know. I can't figure this out right now. I'm tired. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you the end result. I already hung it up in my house. It took about four of us to do. And I think it looks pretty cool, but I'll kind of explain to you how the whole painting thing works with the colors. So, let's see. Okay, so, getting to my bedroom. Ta-da! See? So what I did is I had this entire blank wall, which I wanted to fill with something. I just didn't know what. I didn't want any bland artwork or, you know, things that are bought at the store. I wanted something a little original and something I could put my name on. So what I did is I used a bunch of different colors, probably about 20, okay? And so you can see the base color here was green, okay? It was green and so what I did is I then put Vaseline on top of this because I wanted to keep this green and then I painted the rest pink and other colors as you can see and then when I when I washed off all of the Vaseline I was left with the base color uh, where the Vaseline was and the new color where I did not put Vaseline so that's basically how you distress all this wood and it looks pretty cool I mean I, I'm really happy with it um, and you can use many, many colors or you can even do two tones. Um, I, I preferred this. I, I, this was my first time doing it. So I, uh, I liked it. And, uh, and then, um, I went ahead and I distressed my, uh, a dining room table outside and I am just getting started. 